Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokegame here. Today we're going to have a competitive look at the Legend Plate and Arceus in Legends Arceus. We're going to be looking at this from a competitive point of view. Yes, I understand that Legends Arceus does not have competitive Pokemon, but we are looking forward towards Gen 9 or whatever game this Pokemon will eventually be available in with the Legend Plate. So if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you let me know by leaving a like. Let me know your thoughts on the Legend Plate and how it changes Arceus for the future of Pokemon games, assuming it is obviously brought into them. And also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm on the way to 300k. That is my end of the year goal. I upload competitive Pokemon content daily. So if you like that sort of thing, feel free to subscribe. So, the Legend Plate. Or I guess you can dub it the, uh, the Normal Plate because you know how Arceus without a plate is normal type. Well, the Legends Plate is an item that is exclusive to Pokemon Legends Arceus as of current because it's the latest game and it's basically does as this the item can be used on Arceus when this item is changed Arceus form to normal type and it's active whenever Arceus uses the move judgment it will change its type and the type of the move to be super effective against the target that is insane <laughs> that, that is absolutely insane and I'll go into a little bit more detail as to why but basically when you use the legend play Arceus becomes normal type Right? And whenever you use Judgment, let's say I am Arceus uh, and I use Judgment on a Hoppip. Uh, it will determine like what's the best super effective to use against it. So I can become Arceus Ice while using Judgment. So not only will my Judgment be Ice, but I will also have Stab on it. As in, I will get that same type uh, same type attack boost. So I'll be Ice type, there'll be that. And it's really cool too because in other situations, right? Um, one was like using Arceus and using Judgment on Alakazam, you become Dark type. And not only that, where you have Stab, Super Effective, Judgment, but also you're immune to Psychic. So like, the offense and the defensive capabilities of this item are insane. So previously, Arceus, some of the more defensive types, you have Arceus Water, right? Which will run Judgment, Ice Beam, Recover, Toxic. Uh, sometimes you have Defog here. Sometimes you'd see Will-O-Wisp as well from Necrozma does main, just in case they're Toxic. And, and you got, uh, sometimes you'll have refresh as well and the main reason why this pokemon oh, there's no refresh right now but let's it's not in this game let's put uh let's put gen 7 oh let's put gen 7 ubers just so it's because ours is not currently game so the main reason you have judgment is because water stab is just good neutral you'd uh, have enough speed right here to outspeed mega lucario you two ko it uh, it's good versus groudon defensively and it would just be able to deal Arceus Ground, Blaziken, all in one, right? And then you'd have your Ice Beam, which would give you your way of, okay, I can take a plus one Rayquaza's Dragon Ascent, so I can knock him out with Ice Beam after. Or I want to be able to hit Zekrom. Or I want to be able to hit uh, Giratina for some super effective damage. Or I want to be able to knock out, like, uh, Combine Landers and things like that. Shaman Skyform. Uh, Zygarde, complete. So, it would previously have to run, at least on this support set, two moves if it wanted to be able to deal with the majority of Pokemon and then even without Toxic, sometimes you put Stealth Rock there, sometimes you put will o -Wisp, right? So that's Arceus Water. And the reason it also went Arceus Water was because it resisted one of the stronger Pokemon in the tier. Uh, Kyogre's Water Spouts, uh, Palkia's Hydro Pumps, etc. So being able to resist that was awesome. And then you have Arceus Fairy, which did very similarly. It could either get up Stealth Rock, you have will o -Wisp from the Crosman Dust Main, it had Judgment. Uh, if it wasn't Stealth Rock, You'd sometimes see Flamethrower or Earth Power. Earth Power would be a means of dealing with Primal Groudon, uh, depending on you know when this Pokemon was available, Necrozma, things like that. Uh, and then you'd have Calm Mind sets, which would run Calm Mind Judgment, Recover Earth Power, Earth Power for Primal Groudon, Necrozma does main. Necrozma does main, sorry. I can't help but not say it like that. I'm like fighting myself to not say it like that. And then you also have, uh, and I can go through every single set, but then you also have like another Calm Mind Arceus, which was Arceus Dark, and it would use Calm Mind, Judgment, Recover, and Refresh. And the reason Calm Mind Arceus Dark was great is because it resisted a Veltal and a Veltal. Dark is so good in Ubers. Like, yes, there are fairy types, uh, Arceus, Fairy, and Xerdeus, but Dark was just so good in Ubers because it's very little resistances, especially when powered up by Dark Aura. Foul plays are really strong too in the tier. Um, so being able to resist that, being able to resist Ghost as well, uh, and be able to take on like Necrozma, Dustmane, and things like that too. It was just a really big thing for this Pokemon. Dark is just good as well because, you know, Steel no longer resists Dark. It hasn't for many generations now. So it was really, really good. Now, Arceus Normal was typically ran one type of set, which was Swords Dance, Extreme Speed. You have your Earthquake. Maybe you have your Shadow Claw or Shadow Force. Uh, maybe you'll have your Random Refresh here just in case you get status. So you can do that. Maybe you'll have Recover. 
You could have a Lumberry as an item. You can have a Silk Scarf. And the only time it ever did support as Arceus Normal was if it was Parish Song. And that would be if it was like a Parish Trap type of set. With, uh, what was it? So you have Parish Song right here. And then it also got, I think, was it Whirlpool? Yeah, Whirlpool was Parish Song. Or just Parish Song to be able to... That was like the only time it ever did that. And only because it could like be immune to Mega Gengar and things like that. But this Legends Plate changes everything. Right? So of course I have to, let's just put... Let's just put a plate. Is there, is there anything that has legend in the name? All right, leak it is. Close enough. So, this changes everything on both support Arceus and Combine Arceus. For one, this set becomes incredibly deadly because now it doesn't matter what my stab is. It's always going to be super effective against the opponent, right? So I can literally always run Combine Judgment, recover and refresh, have max speed because I'm 120 base speed. There are very few Pokemon and Ubers that are faster than that. 120 is such a high speed tier, right? You have the Deoxys forms, uh, and then you have like, uh, there's there's Mega Gengar, if Megas even come back. And then outside of that, there's Marshadow, uh, Nagana Dell, uh, Dark Rye, Mega Mewtwo, again, that's involving if Megas come back, Shaman Sky, and then you like speed tower others, but you're faster than the majority of Ubers with this tier. So to be able to run this, come my judgment, refresh, and I think refresh will always be a given, assuming it's there. You run your max speed, you run your HP. Uh, normal isn't like the best resistance, right? It's not the best resistance because it doesn't really come with any resistances. It's just immune to ghost and it's weak to fighting. However, to be able to run combine, judgment, refresh, recover, and not worry about anything you fight is broken. Let me explain. RC is dark when it runs the combine refresh set it has to worry about fairy types. It has to worry about fighting types. Yes, it can lure, it can weaken things down, but it still has to worry about uh, being able to deal with, like if Xerneas comes in, even if it's slower, it can't beat it 1v1, right? It's not going to be beating it 1v1, because uh, Xerneas can just Geomancy and go for Moonblast and knock it out. Uh, Combine Arceus Fairy needs a whole lot of damage on Primal Groudon to be able to deal with it. Uh, fails to deal with Necrozma Dust Main just because it naturally would eat these hits and has Prism Armor. Uh, and also gets this set in particular loses to toxic spikes and loses to toxic and toxic and status is extremely common in ubers because those pokemon are they're really bulky and you want to be able to wear them down right and some pokemon are better at wearing them down too that's why you also see pokemon like toxic still used in ubers even though it's like one of the better pokemon gen 7 ou uh, and it has no, no stats compared to the other guys but it's natural defensive typing and I, I guess it's defenses as well you see that run toxic spike as well so to not have to worry about any of this about the four move slot syndrome. That is the biggest thing about the Legends play set. You do not have to worry about, and but four move slot, I mean like I have to pick four moves and I want, on Common Arceus, I want Combine Judgment, Recover, I want Refresh because I don't want to worry about status. I want Will-O-Wisp so that way uh, my opponent cannot hit me as hard so I can Combine up a little bit easier. I want Ice Beam, that way I have the coverage on this Pokemon. I want Earth Power, that way I can hit the Fair, uh, that way I can hit Necrozma, and, excuse me, Primal Groudon. I want Sludge Bomb, that way I can hit uh, Xerneas as well as Arceus, Fairy without having to switch to not have to worry about any of that to not have to worry about any of that what a calm mind judgment recover refresh set is just broken so the example is i have rcs in front of me i'm clicking calm mind my opponent sends out xerneas i have the legends played on i click calm mind uh and then i as, as they come in obviously i click judgment on them then i transform into whatever typing would be best against xerneas right so you have your your steel and you also have um you have your steel and you also have your... Why am I forgetting poison off the top of my head? Yes. So, you have your steel and your poison, right? So, I transform into Arceus Steel. I transform into Arceus Steel. I go for a steel judgment. It is stab because I'm steel type, right? Judgment steel, I'm steel type. It is not only super effective stab against Xerneas, but also if Xerneas does happen to live, they can't knock me out with Moonblast after because now I've become this steel type that can resist. I become this steel type, so not only um, it is is it great offensively, but it's amazing defensively. And even in that situation, all right, I'm steel type now. Primal Groudon comes out. Now, I'm not sure how the interaction will work with Primal Groudon with this because if it if it dare goes for a water move versus Primal Groudon, I will laugh if the game plugs it that way. I'm assuming Primal Groudon ever comes back and things like that too. I'm just giving these examples Ubers from the past. But I go for a Judgment versus Primal Groudon. I transform into the Ground type. Um, as I'm using Judgment, and not only will it kill, because it's a plus one Judgment, but it's Stab as well, but now I'm a Ground-type. 
So, of course, they go Kyogre after. If they're not Choice Scarf, I transform into Grass-type Arceus while using Judgment, and it becomes me. It makes me Grass-type or Electro-type. I knock them out, or because I'm Grass-type, they can't knock me out with their Origin Pulsar, or the strongest move. They have to predict which one I become, because I don't even know which one I become. It's, it's, it's usually going to pick, what, the best, uh, the best offensive one? I have no idea how that works in terms of four times effective and things, too. Because part of the reason why I didn't do this video yet, even though people kept asking, is because I had not gotten to this part of the game yet. Right, so I was trying to understand how it worked. But I saw enough videos, I think I do have a, a good understanding. Uh, please let me know if I'm a little bit off when it comes to it, because, I mean, I'm always down for learning. But from my understanding, you start as a normal type with this, you go for your judgment, and it just changes your typing as well as your judgment's typing to that, to what's best versus the opponent. So what is super effective versus the opponent. And this is just, it solved the four move slot syndrome on Calm Mind Arceus, period. It has solved the four move slot syndrome on Calm Mind Arceus because I no longer have to worry about coverage. I can worry about myself, right? I can use recover and refresh, recover to get back my HP, refresh to not care about thunder wave, to not care about poison, to not care about burn, uh, and have my and conserve my health, and my judgment will always be super effective. And honestly, you know how Zacian got banned from Ubers. You know how Mega Rayquaza got banned from Ubers. I would not put it past if this comes into the game right and legends play is a thing because legend plate would be equivalent to what the normal plate because we don't have a normal plate, so ours is just normal type um we already have the dread plate and all that stuff so legend plate would probably be normal this is actually really on par by the way with how arceus was in the movie if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure it changed types it had all the plates flying around if i'm not mistaken it was changing types all the time so i love that they did this um i would not put it past them if they banned the item period if they if they at least on smoke on 66 because it is way too insane to be able to do anything it's kind of like imagine fighting protean greninja but it always had a super effective attack versus you now i know sometimes it feels like that when you're fighting protean greninja when i'm using toxic effects they use z ground z dig right and uh ground mz or whatever and they knock me out uh and, and, and when i have feral thorn they have hp fire and when i have uh volcarona they have rock slide you know I, I know it feels like that right when i have top affinity they have gunk shot but imagine if it was actually always like that confirmed and now not only my arceus is like that but your arceus too and then it's just a calm mind ward of plus six and then who will hit super effectively versus the first right the first part so this situation i'm i'm plus one they bring out their arceus they go for calm mind um so their Arceus is normal, mine would be Arceus uh, Dark or whatever, or Arceus normal as well. I go for Calm Mind as they come in, and they try mind up as well as I transform into the fighting type because it would be, or my judgment would be fighting type versus them. It would do a lot, but then they win the next speed tie and they become fairy type. But because I'm plus one boosted, uh, I live their hit, and then I transform into the poison or the steel type, and I knock them out with my next judgment, you know, or as I'm using judgment. So... I think it would be too much to really deal with, and while there are Pokemon that can be faster, to have to sack off Pokemon just to force Arceus to change a type seems like a little bit too much and too broken. Now this is from my understanding, so for those that play Ubers, for those that have experience with Arceus, for those that know the Legends play better than me, let me know your thoughts down below, because I'm really, really interested to see what you people have to say. I think overall though, it's, it's made the Combine variants better, shoot, it even makes the support variants better too. Because Arceus Normal, while, like, while I talk about how broken the Combine ones are, which I think are going to be what t puts it over the edge. I think the Combine ones are for sure. It, like, you're giving this Pokemon that can always have super effective coverage and always attack me super effectively the ability to boost. That's already broken, right? And that's not, obviously, Arceus already has a million things it could do, right? You have E-Killer, you have the support sets, and Combine sets. They're all, they're all good, right? For the most part, they're all good. If you brought Arceus Bug, uh, which is arguably one of the worst ones, uh, to the OU tier, it would just be banned because it ended up just being e-killer because it used Sora's Dance Extreme Speed Recover Earthquake and it just kill everything or it was overheat for Skarmory or whatever, right? It, it, it'll change up everything. So like that mom would be eventually banned regardless. Arceus is Arceus at the end of the day, even if it's typing holds it back. And now obviously on this one, it can't run leftovers or anything, but that's not really something that Arceus is really worried about ever. Like the support Arceus sets have always had to run plates to be support Arceus sets. So unless they're running Z-Curses, of course, but that was, you know, a previous thing too. So they never really had to worry about that. And of course, in the plates part, it actually boosts them. It, it also boosts their attacks as well. Like, um, you get 1.2 times the power. Older dark type attacks have 1.2 times the power. Now, I don't know how that works with Legend Plate because I don't see a or the leak. I don't see a little boost right here when it comes to that. But pretty crazy for that. It's crazy for support Arceus as well. Uh, I think it will be still fine, but basically support Arceus don't have to run Calm Mind. They, literally every Arceus should always be running this. 
period. But if you want it, you could run Defog as well. But every Arceus should be running this. This set in particular, all you need. You know what? Maybe you can use this as well to, to see what the opponent goes for or to do anything. But I think this will be one of the more common sets on Arceus. There's just no reason to not use it when it's always going to have super effective damage. You might think, oh, well, Marsh Shadow and, and Mega Mewtwo, whatever. Yeah, sure. First off, Arceus has 120 base stats around the board. So unless it becomes an Arceus Dark Steel or Normal, you're not locking it out with Low Kick from Mega Mewtwo Y. Or X, excuse me. Mega Mewtwo X. And that's also, again, assuming Mega Mewtwo is going to be in the next game or Megas are coming back. Whatever. Secondly, Marsh Shadow is weak, okay? Even if it ha hits it with a super effective close combat, it is not strong enough to KO. Arceus will live, and it can easily knock it back out with whatever judgment it ends up getting versus that Pokemon, right? Period. It doesn't matter if you steal all the boosts. Because if you steal all the boosts, then you you'd be getting the Spideff boosts. But then, um, it doesn't matter so much. Like, you're not hitting it for that much damage with that. And I guess it would just become, well, it could become normal type. It could become, well, no, if, it would, if, if you went for Special Thief on Arceus, uh, you, I would become either a ghost type Arceus myself, or um, yeah, I would become ghost type Arceus, yeah, because you are a ghost type, and I want to be super effective versus it. So, yeah, I don't think that would even matter. So, I think this mod is too much. It, I think it's too bulky and has too much speed and too much HP and just too many stats all around to be able to have this even be legal. So, I want to know your thoughts. Do you guys think that if this set or if this Pokemon was ever actually if Legends Play actually comes to the real game, will it be legal? I think it's way too much, but let me know down below. Uh, I, I'm, I, I am excited to try it out, though. But every comes to the game, I'm excited to try it out for the 10 days we're able to use it before it gets banned. There is no freaking way this could stay. There's nothing. Like, the Ubers tier would become a whole bunch of Scarfers that try and hit hard, and that's basically it. And they better pray that they get in before Arceus, because... Like, I guess in the sense, like, obviously you not being Arceus Water initially means that you don't normally resist the... Uh, the Hydro Pumps from Palkia and the, the Water Spouts from Kyogre. So you might have a little bit more trouble getting in initially as that. But the second you do get in and you click Calm Mind, I feel like it's just game from that point. Or it becomes an Arceus versus Arceus war. And you try not to lose to Arceus. So again, while it loses the defensive capabilities immediately, like in the, in the first turn. Like you know how Proton Grenin is always Water Dark from the beginning and before it clicks a move, and as long as it's male, you don't know if it's Protein or Battle Bond. So it, you, in that case, that's good for Greninja. In this case, it's worse for Arceus. Um, as in, you know it's typing, so it can't change. I was trying to like have a correlation between not knowing and knowing, and it's better for Greninja, but I kind of failed in that. But anyway, um, yeah, so obviously, you know, this Arceus won't switch into Dark type attacks as well as Arceus Fairy, and this Arceus won't switch into Ice Beam and Water uh, water uh, Spouts and Origin Pulses as well as Arceus Water. But the second it comes in is, is where it's a crazy one. So again, let me know your thoughts, guys. I feel like it'll become common Arceus, the meta. And I think they'll definitely be banned. Kind of similar to how Farceus was banned in uh, DPP. But, uh, or DP, excuse me. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. That's it. Leave a like, subscribe if you are new to the channel. Goodbye, my friends.